when I did my recent live stream on the last Friday of January, quite a few people was writing in the chats asking, did I talk about the whole T.I. and Tiny situation? The reason why I didn't talk about it is because I had not looked into it yet. So I didn't want to talk about something I wasn't like familiar with. And then, you know, I said to myself, well, since people were kept asking me about it, I said, let me just go ahead and make a pre-recorded video talking about the situation. And man, is there so much that is like literally constantly compounding day after day with these allegations. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that these allegations are true because the last time people said some allegations was true against the black person, they ended up in jail. And we are talking about Bill Cosby. So, you know, people can say anything, but also this is highly weird. We're talking about like right here in that town in Tinseltown, as they call it, almost anything goes if you got the money to play. So I'm about to read this article that's coming from People. It was posted uh, January 29th, 2021. And it says T.I. and Tiny Harris threatened to sue over allegations that they drugged women before sex. They empathetically deny unverified post by a woman with whom they've had difficulty and they put difficulty in quotations for well over a decade a rep for the couple told people in a statement ti and tiny harris are threatening to sue a woman over claims that they sexually abuse women in a statement obtained by people a rep for the couple addressed allegations made and shared by a woman named sabrina peterson on instagram that they would force women to take drugs and have sex with them in that ti age 40 once held a gun to her head mr and mrs harris want to be on record and more importantly, want the public to know empathetically deny that they empathetically deny in the strongest way possible the egregiously appalling allegations made against them by Sabrina Peterson. The statement read the Harrises have had difficulty with this woman for over a decade. Um, it says the couple is taking this matter very seriously. And if these allegations don't end, they will take appropriate legal action. The rep added. The statement comes several weeks after Tiny, age 45, defended her husband on the shade room post regarding an allegation from Peterson that T.I. put a gun to my head in front of my own children and described him as a predator. Harris asked her to stop harassing her family, claiming that Peterson asked for T.I. to quote unquote train her sons. We know what that means. We I don't have to go into a whole a full blown de description. We are all adults here. And I think we all know what that means. Please get help, she wrote. But leave us alone. Most recently, Peterson has been sharing supposed messages from nearly 25 alleged victims claiming that T.I. and Tiny allegedly abused them, with some claiming the couple asked them to do drugs before having sex with the couple. After the release of the T.I. and Tiny statement Friday, Peterson reposted a news headline writing, Let's take a lie detector test. Currently finding a credible resource, she added, if you know a credible lie detection service, please forward me their info. I would like to go today. Peterson could not be immediately reached for comment by people. Now, that's the most recent article that has come out out of everything, because like I said, this stuff go goes back like a day or a couple of days. So it's so many articles that have. um come out of this and you know they basically in a nutshell have been accused of sex trafficking and so many other things and honestly where i'm standing with it i don't know exactly who to believe when it comes to something like this because on one hand this sabrina peterson could be lying she could probably be trying to get something out of them especially since they said that um she's been they claim she's been trying to that she's been having they've been having difficulty with her for over a decade so you're talking about going back to 2011 and and prior so she could very well try be trying to come around and get some money out of them like being an extortionist and whatnot and if that is the case why didn't you why didn't she mention anything at that time why did she wait until now that's the thing i always that never really sat well with me when it comes to stuff like this why did you wait so long the only thing i haven't heard from her is saying that she wants to um that she uh let me, before you know i almost jumped the gun 
it's that she's threatening to sue so there will be money involved some way some way somehow and if there's a settlement then one of two things is going to be put out there either she was uh, lying to get money and she got it or they were lying and they decided to you know give her hush money on the flip side of all of this ti and tiny could very well be guilty of what they're accused of especially since there's always been this thing about there was always problems with their marriage and everything like that who knows what they were doing to try to mend their marriage you never know what people are doing especially like these celebrity marriages which i wish people would stop trying to aspire to because they are sometimes worse off than everyday people when it comes to their relationships like i said i'm very sure that it's so much more to unpackage with this story and like i said there's a lie there's another lie and the truth is somewhere in the middle we're at in the middle i'm not entirely sure so i don't really know who to believe i don't know if she's telling the truth i don't know if ti and tiny are telling the truth right now for me it is up in the air until more stuff comes out but she's come coming out saying look Let's take a lie detector test and see right now who's lying. But see, that's the thing about a lie detector test. Sometimes they those can be sketchy nowadays. Like back then, those were more believable at one point in time. Now, with the technology they have today, them things can be skewed. And some people know how to trick the test to work in their favor. So even that's not going to be, you know, well read. But she did say she had about 25 statements or well, let me scroll down here some more because he said something about 25 she said she uh, allegedly shared messages from nearly 25 alleged victims claiming that ti and tiny abused them and also asking the couple or having the couple ask them to do drugs so i say bring the receipts and let this be one big w receipt war if she has receipts, bring them. If T.I. and Tiny have receipts, bring those. And may the best person win or the one that's, the I guess, the more feasible. But I can see this is this is going to turn real ugly real fast. To be honest, I think it's already there. But like I said, it's out of my hands right now. I really don't like doing, like, celebrity-type stories like this because there are channels for that that really really go in depth when it comes to this because this is what they talk about on the regular but i give my little piece here and there i feel like talking about it but this is as far as i think i can go with it and i'm sure if there's any updates to come i might touch back on it but i, I don't know if this woman is actually doing this because this has actually happened or if she's trying to secure a bag because they said that they've been having problems with her for over a decade. Now, that could be taken as one of two ways. One, they could actually have had a problem with her. And she's been like a nuisance. Or a problem with her, meaning what she says could be true. And they've been trying to shake her for the last 10 or so years. But if that's the case, they had to have known this was eventually going to come back. Or maybe they did pay her some money to go away. Maybe she ran out of money and now she's coming back for more. But that wouldn't help her case because that means she just took hush money and to make this quote unquote go away and it wouldn't look good in her favor at all. But I don't know really know what to believe when it comes to the story. I'm going to leave this one up to you down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below and I will talk to you in the next one.